welcome welcome to my channel um, if you are new here welcome uh, I'm Mark from Wandering Souls um, so glad you could make it if you are uh, a returning one yeah thank you for coming back again at my channel uh, anyways uh, I got a collection of the to do uh, for you guys uh, today I have seven CDs to show you um, yeah, some heavy metal, some black metal, some death metal. Um, let's see, do we have more? Some power metal. Um, yeah, some different kind of stuff here in here. Um, so this would be stuff for more uh, lovers of heavy music. Um, anyways, um, yeah. Without further ado, I don't want to search the video too long um, and get these out of the way. Um, before the new stuff comes in, there's more stuff coming in, so, um, yeah. A nip of the coffee here. So, um, first one up is the new one from Memoriam. This is called A Rise to Power. Um, old school death metal, if you are familiar with this band. Uh, and it... You know what to expect and if you are new to this band this is a band made of um, members of bullthrower and benediction um without being bullthrower uh, being alive this is uh, something close you can get from an original member from the band and um yeah mixed up with some members from benediction um old school death metal uh definitely has elements of both bands um yeah, it's old school stuff. Um, kind of also going into the path with the with in uh, with the last album they did, um, getting a more doomy approach as well. Um, that's also present on this album, and that's what makes this album so enjoyable. Um, really good riffs, nice uh, slow tempos, mid up tempo parts, um, the rough vocals. Um, yeah, fantastic stuff. It all sounds so old school, and um, but with a modern production, of course. Uh, this is released by Reaper Entertainment, and this is a brand new album, um, 2023 release. Um, fantastic artwork, I have to say. It looks amazing. Um, it's what they also a lot of times have some fantastic artwork in this band. Comes with an. Uh, commercial crap thingy in here and with a mini poster of the alm art and the back has all the lyrics to the songs and some credits and whatnot uh, is on here um, yeah fantastic stuff so if you like uh, mentioned bands uh, you definitely will enjoy this I think um, good bands um, definitely worth looking into this is the fourth album from this band if I'm not mistaken and um, yeah I have them all so far so um, yeah great another great addition to the collection great album rise to power by memoriam next up we have some Finnish black metal and this sounds Finnish all right um, this is called uh, Alti Tarimme on Lestra Tetti uh, by Azagal. Azagal is a long running Finnish black metal band. I uh, have a couple of releases by them and they are all fantastic. Um, I have also a lot of. Um, I'm a computer by this band and I always enjoy listening. And I thought I had to pick up the new one because it sounds fantastic. Uh, great riffy black metal. Um, has some punk elements here and there, but also some really nice black metal riffing going on here. Uh, fast and uh, mid tempo things, and uh, yeah, it's a really enjoyable album. Um, if you are into Finnish black metal, you definitely are up for a treat here. Uh, this is released by Immortal Frost Productions, and also a 2023 release. This band seems to release a lot of stuff, and um, most of the time, it's always quality. So uh, it's also what you can get with this album. Really enjoyed this. Um, definitely looking forward to give it more spins. And this has more things to it as well. 
First of all, there is a poster. It's a small one, but it's a poster. As you guys can see, it's a free piece here. And of course, then there is the blo uh, the booklet here with a fantastic artwork. And the back looks like this. And then of course you have the inside here with the lyrics. Um, most of them are in Finnish, so I can't really make up what they're all about. But uh, I think about some evil stuff here. Because it's of course black metal. Um, yeah, nothing bad to say. I really enjoyed it, like I said. If you like the previous work, this is just a blind buy. Um, Greg Riffey, uh, Finnish Black Metal. Um, nothing wrong with this. Well taken care of artwork, all in style. Um, and entirely throughout the booklet here. So, yeah, like I said, if you know Azegal, then you know what to expect. If you're new to this band um, and you like some riffy black metal, go check this out. So, sorry about that. I got interrupted by the mailman, so I had to open the door for some packages. But, um, yeah, what was I? Azegal, uh, the new album. Go check it out if you like some great Finnish black metal. Um, really, really good stuff. 2022 for 2023 release awesome next up another 2023 release this is a Marduk with Momentum Mori um, a new Marduk album it has been a while that Marduk released an album and finally there is a new one um, yeah, what can I say, guys? Fantastic um, black metal. It's, it sounds like Marduk. Nothing wrong with this. If you like their uh, old stuff, you will, will enjoy this. Definitely reminded me a bit of um, a kind of dance macabre meets a Panzer Division Marduk World Funeral Era uh, Marduk. That's how it sounds to me. Um, kind of songs about death and then um the fast-paced black metal that you know from this band um awesome stuff um blast stuff right after the um, fantastic intro and the title track uh, heart of the funeral and blood of the funeral that intro that uh, flow is so fantastic i really love that um tracks uh coffin carol is also a fantastic track i also like a uh, year of the maggot and um red tree of blood a lot um fantastic blasting t uh, uh, songs with great riffs um yeah the band is on a real roll here um funny enough to see that uh, daniel also known as mortus writes a lot of stuff on this album um he's contributing a lot and um definitely touches um, back into the old material for this Marduk um, release it sounds great um, here is the band current lineup they are out with a bassist out by a bassist right now so they go um, is filling in right at the moment because they fired the previous one um, there was some stuff going on with the guy that was not really right and they decided to get rid of those that bass player. Um, Joe Mortis is back. Devo is a bit back for a while, but I think, don't think he is contributing a lot on this album. Um, it's a lot of Daniel um, on this and some of the drummer. I think um, surprisingly, of Morgan is not writing a lot of this. The only few lyrics I've seen here and there in the booklet, but. Music wise, I was kind of surprised that Mortis wrote so much songs on this one. So, uh, yeah, but he did a really good job. Great songs. Um, death themed uh, album, as you guys can see. Um, yeah, fantastic uh, coming back. If you like their old material, you will enjoy this. This is a, this is a no brainer. This is not, not really a surprise, but if it's the same but then different let's put it that way and it's 
it's it's, it's blast fast all along um good stuff oh here and there they take some gas back and uh, so some uh slow tempos um to mix up a bit song like charlatan i think a uh, marching bones it was it's all still fast but a bit sl slowed down fast let's put it that way kind of marching feel to it that's really cool like some skeletons walking fast you know that kind of stuff um but it's 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 um yeah really really good i really enjoyed this so uh again a no-brainer if you are into this band so another great 2023 release momentum mori by Marduk. next up this is a 2021 release i think this is bela core with coherence um australian melodic death metal here uh this is the band's fourth album i think uh follow up to their 2016 release um i blanking on the title now something with vessels but uh, don't quote me exactly the title but it's been five years and i kind of overlooked this one in 2021 somehow um because i adored their previous album which had, i have on vinyl but i kind of missed this somehow um but it was it's it's a bad to catch up back this is a really really good melodic death metal um heavy growling vocals great melodies um yeah it's really fun listen it's a long listen it's on only eight tracks but it fills the time so fast and um another dull moment on this release i really enjoyed it at least on napalm records and um yeah, definitely a lot worth looking into if you like some good melodic death metal um great band and let's take a look into the booklet if i may because it's hard to come out sometimes nowadays with the thick booklets and these dual cases um again i'm not taking care of lyrics and stuff Not a lot of pictures from the band, uh, none even, so let's, if you want to see how the band looks, it's not on this album. <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, really good band, overlooked a lot of times, but um, if you want to hear some different melodic, it kind of remind me a bit of the old Amorphous kind of a feel, you know, the Black Winter Day times, that era a bit, but with less uh, cleaner vocals. Um, that kind of the idea, um, but it's really, really good. Um, Bella Core with coherence, definitely worth looking into, guys. Um, good stuff. Um, next up is a reissue. Um, it's an album from an album I had in the past, but got rid of it when I moved it. Also counts for the next one, by the way. Um, this is Saxon with Unleash the Beast. Um, kind of a bit bummed by this uh, version because I really thought it was in the same GGPack versions with the old uh, previous um, reissues done by BMG. Uh, There's also on BMG. So I was kind of surprised it was a DG sleeve. Um, so, yeah, kind of bummed by that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this version or not um, because I prefer the other DigiPack versions and apparently it's not released as that so uh, maybe I'm gonna find the dual case version in that case um, but you never know uh, maybe I'm gonna keep it maybe I don't but a uh, fantastic album uh, great heavy metal um, yeah, they were on the roll halfway the 90s till now, so um, yeah, you know what to expect. Um, Biff doing Biff, and um, yeah, the riffs are just like typical Saxon. So if you're up to that, um, you know what to do. Um, don't want to say this is the best print I have ever seen on this album version. I think the original version was a bit better printed. So I don't know what the case here is. It's not really bad or anything, but um, 
there is something about it and then of course the, the DGC thing um, I don't know it's not uh, like I said it's not be bad or anything but I'm not a super fan of these so um, anyhow um, fantastic album um, nothing wrong with this um, yeah favorite track is probably block letter that's probably my favorite track on this album it's a bit faster uh, rocking tune um, like that one a lot um, here's the track listing this is all the bonus tracks that came along with some other reissues so there's another thing I thought well why don't you put on those two live tracks as a reissue as well again a missed opportunity so um, yeah, I don't know yet um, if I find the dual case then I might obtain that and pass this along to someone who wants to have the album um, when that's the case I will let you guys know then um, it's a fantastic album don't get me wrong uh, definitely worth having in your collection and if you don't mind some normally um, yeah I'll stick to it uh, but it looks kind of weird with all those th thicker spines and then you get this you know it's kind of weird I, I wonder why um, BMG decided suddenly after all those reissues last year end of the last year it is kind of versions um, probably to reduce, reduce plastic or something but it's not in the same vein like that you know it's just in my in my brain going anyways um, although it's a fantastic album definitely worth having and I'm glad I have it back so I can listen to it in a uh, um, physical format and uh, yeah, it's another section album in my collection which is going and growing so next up like I said another reissue another reissue done right in my opinion this is Halloween with Pink Bubbles Go Ape another album I had um, the album cover is a bit darker than the original though but uh, still us is a really nicely printed cover and has bonus tracks like four tracks that were on B sides and things like that um, from singles um, an album that is overlooked a lot and um, I can understand why it comes out after the Keeper albums you know the, the two albums you have Walter Jericho then Keeper of the Seven Keys part one and two they were all classics um, so this kind of disappointed a bit the sound changed a bit and um, the lineup changed of course because Kai Hansen left the band and um, he was followed up by Roland Grappo um, but still nonetheless it, it, this album definitely has some great tracks Pink, the title track probably uh, Kids of the Century is great uh, Back on the Streets uh, Heavy Metal Hamsters is great um, and definitely the favorite track on this album is probably The Chance which is a fantastic track uh, with fantastic vocals by Michael Kiske um, yeah, awesome track. Um, it definitely has some different moments on this, and um, but it's not a bad album, guys. Um, it's not as bad as Chameleon, let's put it that way. Chameleon was a bit uh, more different. Um, booklet here, and this is a reissue with a lot of liner notes and stuff like that. So they. Um, I did some really cool stuff with that and kind of weird funny pictures on that it's kind of with the cases with the album uh, it's kind of it has some funny moments in lyrics and pictures and things like that you know it's not your typical heavy metal power metal lyrics and stuff like that it's a bit different and um, it's kind of experimental in that way and um, to me it's that kind of um, wanting me to hear this album you know especially after the change after the keeper albums um i prefer the keeper albums don't get me wrong but this is definitely a fun listen and um glad to have it back 
and it's really cheap reissued um, see a lot of times for between five and ten euros so um, definitely worth checking in if you don't have this album yet big bubbles go ape by uh, Halloween and then the last one in this deck is another reissue this is Angel Witch with uh, Angel Witch and this is the 30th anniversary uh, edition um, original album came out in 1980 and is definitely considered a um, new wave of British heavy metal classic um, around the, uh, at around the period that a lot of that bands came out Saxon, Iron Maiden, you know the kind of bands around that era uh, definitely has a lot of the same, similar sounds um, good vocalist and I uh, really enjoy the, the songs um, not every song is as strong in my opinion but it's really decent and uh, great heavy metal um, again released, released by BMG and again this is a DG pack I uh, thought well this looks way better than DG sleeves double disc set um, is there something special behind the back yes these are our live photos so I'm gonna show you those of the band members there and then there are two others here so to this set like I said um, so you have the original album on here with uh, four bonus tracks which are um, session version of uh, vocals uh, of a song sorry um, so that are the Street Damage, Angel of Death, Extermination Day and Angel Witch and then you have an extra disc with bonus um, that are a lot of demos and 7 angels, uh, 7 sing inch singles b-sides and stuff like that you know and it's a lot of stuff that are also uh, 16 tracks so in total you get 30 tracks um, for the price of one disc that's not really bad I think well taken care of and uh, this also comes with a thick booklet so let's show that here and the back of the booklet and then of course the lion notes and pictures and Again, really well taken care of by BMG. So I wonder why they went that route with that section one. Um, I don't know. It looks like a quickie to me. And it feels like this is way more taken care of. So awesome release. Really glad to have it. It's a fantastic album. Um, definitely need to pick up the re. Uh, Reformed lineup album, which is Angel of Light, I think, which is a fantastic album as well, probably. Um, so, need to pick up that one as well. But I'm really, for now, I'm really happy with this album. Um, fantastic um, wave of British heavy metal classic. Great UK band. Go check him out if you don't know Angel Witch yet. Um, if you like early Iron Maiden, that kind of stuff, then you will enjoy this, I think. Um, good, 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 good stuff. So, that's my collection update guys, I hope you enjoyed it, sorry for the interruption, but um, yeah, when you record videos, everything can <laughs> happen, so, um, cheers, have a fantastic Saturday guys, um, hope you have a great time this weekend, and um, hope to see you back soon with a new video, Kampai, salute, yamas, etc, etc, have a great day. Thank you.